I'm going to take one of the bowls that we made. I'm putting a little bit of liquid clay on the bottom and I'm going to center it on our plate. Bake it to make sure that it stays. So I'm going to marble them until they're almost completely mixed up. So to marble, I twist them, fold them in half, twist them again, and continue rolling. So fold in half, twist again. I use a little bit of translucent liquid Sculpey on it. Choose a little area where you're going to have your carrots on the plate and put a little bit there to get them to stick. Now that I have a lot of carrots on there, I'm going to very gently try to add a little bit more texture without smashing them together. And if you leave it a little bit of time to settle, you can even do some of that with a needle. I'm just going to mix those all together. So, here we are. This is the color. Put some translucent liquid Sculpey. I'm rolling small balls. I roll it back and forth a little bit to flatten it out so it's more like a grape um, cherry tomato. Then you can start placing them carefully. I'll go ahead and I'll bake this. Roll one side, flip it over, roll the other side, and then we put it on our finger like a crescent moon. So I bend it and press ever so slightly. We're not wanting to make it completely flat. And then I use the toothbrush to texture, and then I'm using a pin to go under it to help lift it from my finger. And then I place it on the plate. Do this over and over. I'm using just regular black. I roll it in my fingers and then I roll it on its side a little bit to give that oval look that we did with the tomatoes. You want them to be smaller than the tomatoes. I stick my pin in and I tilt in a circle. And you're not trying to get it through the bottom but you can open that hole by rolling it on your finger. Can you see that hole in there? So that's the hole of a little olive. And then once it's the right shape, stick it on. So I'm just going to fill up that section. And we're going to do the little stalks first. I roll them nice and thin. The stalks are going to be made the same way in both. You're just going to take small cuts. Very gently saw back and forth. And you want three or four openings so it's wider right at the top. And then four top. Let's take some of your polymer clay and I place it down on my paper. Try to keep it sticking there. And you tease clay out. You do this also with the broccoli. So I press it down. You put a little bit of liquid clay all along that top part that's branched out. I just keep on adding it to the top and the cauliflower is done the same way. So 
So you just add as much as you want and then you place it on your plate. When you do it with the cauliflower, this is how it looks. I have some liquid clay here and then I'm going to use a little bit of white powdered food coloring and I'm going to throw in a little bit of that and a little bit of ivory. A little bit of ivory there is so it's not completely stark white and I mix it up until they're completely mixed together. Grind some pepper and I'm going to add a few of the smaller bits of it. This is to make it a little bit more realistic ranch. Fill our little dip bowl. Going it around in a circle just to make sure that it's smooth on all edges. It will flatten out. So this is our little veggie platter all done.